Hello everyone. We will be uh, going through an application, Fury application, which is re redistribute workload. Okay. So uh, I'll just click on it, the tile, and this is the application. Now this particular application will be used by the managers. Okay, in the purchasing department. So uh, when a particular purchase requisition or a purchase order is assigned or contract is assigned to a particular purchasing group okay the purchasing group is uh, the person or the group who are handling a particular uh, purchasing group okay so it can be one person or multiple person which uh, which are handling maybe a commodity something like this okay it can be defined in multiple ways so for this application, uh, just I will take you one by one through all of these things. Now here we have this filters, creation date, document type, uh, then docu document type, document number, all of these things. So here document category, I would like to show you this. Document categories, purchase, requisition, order, contract, RFQ. Okay, request for quotation. So if you select RFQ and you click here, so you'll be able to see only the RFQs okay, and click on go. So all of these are only RFQs. Okay. So uh, the filtration can be done on all of these bases. Okay. Now suppose a purchase requisition was created and now it is uh, to be uh, like uh, with a purchasing group and the purchasing group is to be changed. Okay. We will see this scenario. Now before that we will see all of the other filters okay so uh, these filters so for, if you want more filters what we can do is we have option of add up filters so here company code uh, then suppose I will add one or two more filters purchasing document type okay see this filters will be added over here and then you can use it now if you want to keep the filters as it is for the next time so what uh, the purchaser can do is he can just come here manage and uh, he can save it so it will be uh, saved as a standard and default for uh, uh, all users okay so if i go back and i come again so here are the filters okay i think it was not saved but here the filters will be the same okay so the document type will be uh, the same the selected one then the next uh, thing is if you want to mail this to someone so you can send a mail or you can add a tile so save as tile so what this will do is if you i will just take you to the start of the screen so here top of the screen here you can see there is no application with respect to uh, redistribute okay so I will go to redistribute and suppose I want to enter a filter here I will give us contains uh, 69 I'm taking 69 because my uh, same I have created one document PR document to show you okay so I'm selecting 69 so now here what can I do is I can save a style okay then PR PR and pages now pages we only have home so home and save if I go back and go to the top you can see here redistribute workload if I click on this you can see 69 it is with filter so this is because you don't need to um, uh, enter the filter multiple times okay now 69 will not be the filter or document number but the document type purchasing organization group category suppose and any other filter you select suppose you use the same every time so you can just put it here either you can save in the same tile or you can create a new tile so you have both the options so now suppose by mistake you have created this tile and you want to delete it go here edit current page delete a uh, cancel okay and it is gone okay it is so simple so here uh, redistribute again now i will uh, as okay i don't don't need to take any specific number okay this part you have understood i'll just minimize this 
and now these are the documents suppose 1 2 3 these are the documents and i want to say uh, i want to change the purchasing group for this documents just i'll go to reassign purchasing group okay and then i will take any of the one purchasing group suppose this one okay i've taken this and i'll submit once i submit it will ask me that has follow on document okay if a document is created for this okay uh, like a purchase order is created or something like this then we cannot change it in the purchase requisition but in purchase order we can change if the follow on document for that purchase order is not created so better way i will take a uh, example of my which i've created to show you that is 69 number ending with 69 so and i will take purchase requisitions here i can use multiple filters at the same time so i'll click on go and these this uh these this is my uh requisition so i select this and maybe i'll select two we will check whether it is working means if a follow-on document is not created i've selected a different purchasing group i click okay mm, okay follow-on document is created i'll just remove this I'll check for this okay and yes all the documents can uh, can be updated uh, do you want to uh, do you want to continue yes and if you see here the purchasing group is changed now if you want to see the log so you can go here and see the change log okay whatever was uh, changed you can see when and where it was changed you also have filters to uh, check the change if it is a long list now here to see this data you have uh, two ways of uh, two views for that show more per row okay this will show you more details if you want to add some more fields you can just go on in the settings and add all the fields all or any of the fields so here it will get it will be a long list and if you want only one row you just click on this you will get only two rows minimum rows okay then if you want to uh, suppose uh, download these things then you can go here export as excel and you can download it okay so uh, that's it uh, so you must have understood the application and uh, anything you uh, want regarding this you can just uh, put uh, like write it in the comments thank you very much